All right, back again, here to build more factory. And I think today, that's exactly what we're doing, right? Yeah, we did sugar last time. After kind of an exhausting set of episodes putting down uh, all these embassies, which are happily doing their job now. We've taken a lot of territory, and this is the final frontier before the endless push begins. But for the moment, I think we're doing energy drink, right? Because movement speed. And maybe for augs later. So we just need aluminum, sweet syrup. And I did some thinking on this. I think the best way to do this is north by the guar plantation and then bring the the sugar up later. Uh, be a cause. Uh, pulp mill, right? Pulp mill. Oh, nice. Um, we need a hundred guar bean seeds, so we might as well locate the building next to the bulkiest thing that we need. We'll also be able to belt over tree seeds. Oh, if I actually go get belt. So let's go do that. And then I think we're on to epoxy, right? Uh, on our way to uh, getting the next level of uh, mechanical parts up and going, which will unlock a lot of stuff. Beacons. We'll have beacons real soon. Then um, also modules. Of course, that's probably implied when I said beacons, but you know. Uh, I'm looking forward to that, at least. Things will be different. Things will be better. We will have a new glorious day dawning in the factory. There we go. And this is... We are very short on steel everywhere. And that's leading to a bullet shortage. It's leading to... Uh, mechanical parts shortage. There isn't a lot we can do about that, but we should go look at it. I think we're still suffering from that time when everything ran out and it was horrible. <laughs> you know, the last tailings uh, clog we had to unclog. But let's go see if perhaps things are still running. Good. All right, anyway, so war. This used to be the frontier of the factory. I put the Guar plantation up here to serve as a, uh, a barrier. But instead, we're going to take this space right here. Probably right here. Right here. We're going to put in a pulp mill right here. Right? No. We have to make sure we get the... Both the horizontal and the vertical correct. So copy, drag that up. This looks like you need to move one square over. There you go. There we go. Now it is perfect. Um, actually, I'd probably just make tree seeds on the spot from the wood line that's right here, instead of drawing them down. Even though drawing them down is also a pretty good idea. How are we so short? I would think with all this wood being produced, but almost none of the extra woods getting over is the, the issue right here. It's all being poured into this guy. So there's no line beyond him. Hmm. All right, so the limiting factor in here will be guar beans, so there's no need to uh, powdered biomass seed extract. There is no need to get too worked up about this. So give me a toosie. And am I going to make a belt? Probably going to make a belt, right? The seeds come right there. We also need the seeds to come around. Some more of these. Oh, we need iron. That sucks. So, yeah. The seeds will come over and come down. Oh, wait. They are coming down right here. Oh, the seeds will come over from right here. Nice. This will be a seed line. 
I knew this was the right place to do this. Like so. Then, unfortunately, this is now no longer correct. You have to be like that now. Excellent. All right, so tree seeds will come in like so. Um, then we'll get Renea seeds and whatever the other one was. And we'll get Guar seeds in, probably on the bottom. Um, no, probably like right here. It's hard to say because of uh, we know full well that we're not gonna, we're not producing them at a sufficient rate. So I guess we just do this, right? Yes, here, take some tree seeds, take some more. Oh, I have flowers in my inventory. There. Let me figure out what we're going to do with the extract. Uh, extract. Seed extract. Seed extract. We need Renea seeds and Grod seeds. So that's coming down from the south. We make seed extract. We also need uh, sugar. So we should also get sugar while we're at it. Yeah, so we don't need a 2z, we need a 3z. That's That's a 4. There we go. That's what we want. 1, 2, 3. There we go. Alright, so... Then we will have... Well, no. This isn't what we want. Oh... Uh, want instead to be just right up against it and then this should be sufficient right wham 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 and then sugar will come up the extract will come up what do we need for the uh, uh, concentrate what is it uh, energy do I have any aluminum around here concentrated seed sir Oh, we're gonna need a couple of these, it looks like. So give me a couple scrubbers. We'll go on a mission to do that, but for right now, we're gonna task this dinosaur. So I'm assuming just everything stacks to 100 here. And each two of them does the three. I don't know, I'm not even thinking about this. Mr. Dinosaur, you have a job. This is a long job. Ah, uh, store food. Then we need to go get the sugar I just made, which is right here. And I want you to, until caravan has sugar in quantity 1,000. And you want to go get grod seeds. Where do we make our grod? <laughs> Does anyone remember anything about grod? It's right here. Those are grod. That's grod. That's grod seeds. And so I think you are Grod Seeds? Yeah. Tilgaran has Grod Seeds in quantity 1,000. And then we gotta go here and we gotta get Renea Seeds. I need to check on this before I send them out. New. Right there. I need you until Caravan has Renea seeds. New. A braided Renea seeds, Mach 2. What? And in a thousand. Okay, great. Then at the end of that, you come here. You await a circuit condition, which is, of course, uh, comparator equals go. Then I need you to until target, until target, and then until target. Um, sugar, quantity 900, Renea seeds, double check on this before I send it out, Rod seeds. Okay, I think that's correct. Renea and Rod, right. All right, so on your way, Mr. Dinosaur, I wish you luck in your quest. Alright, we gotta go get some scrubbers now, right?
Really not too many. Though I always make too many. It's just scrubbers, right? Concentrated seed syrup. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I guess I'll do three. I'm just a scrubber. Scrubber? And then right there. Go get iron, she tells me. This would be a good opportunity to inspect the iron area. See if maybe I can squeeze any more out. Like This is all backed up. This is unused potential. And this is a little backed up right there. Oh. I guess there's nothing here. I wish I had speed modules. Maybe that's what I need speed modules for. Just slam them in these machines. I don't need efficiency right here. I just need you to move faster. Same here. Same story. Oh, and these guys are all backed up. Like, here's a bottleneck. We can't get rid of iron slime. Huh. Maybe I could add a couple more of these. Let's we'll see what happens. All right, add two more hydro classifiers to the list. Oh. 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 What is the problem here? Not enough fuel on the line. Okay. All right. Think. Gotta go solve that, right? All right. First, let's go do what scrubbers. Uh, no, just scrubbers. One, two, and I need copper, so just go do that. That's almost certainly small parts, but whatever. Um, so we don't have enough power, I guess. Scrubber? Scrubber? Scrubber. Uh, yeah. All right, so not enough power coming down the line. It says... Go expand coal processing, like I strongly suspected I was going to have to. It's like, got a whole line wait. Oh, we are now having coke related issues, aren't we? Because we are stealing so much just coal. Now you're backing up, you're backing up. I do need to just double the refining capabilities of all you. Or, you know, speed module it up. But that strikes me as perhaps... Maybe a little, a lot of overkill. At least this is working. I'd be happier when that was completely full up and then this would stop. Like, how many dinosaurs are waiting here? Just one. Hmm. Like, I'm tempted to just dump raw coal on the line, but that's not a good idea. Maybe I go to briquettes at some point. Maybe just scale this up. Let's build another processing stack right here. Wouldn't be hard. Anyway, I'm getting off topic. Ah. The distractions are soul of Factorio. Maybe I've got too many of these, right? Because I was going to put it right here, but then I just realized that that's forbidden. Because that's logistic space. So yeah, I did kind of get too many. That's all right. We'll do it like this, I suppose. Um, yeah, we'll do something weird. It's fine. This space is never going to be used for anything else. We can be weird, right? One, two, three. Like so. Alright, so. You guys are making concentrated seed syrup. Right there? That looks good. Concentrated seed syrup. And then, yeah, that's made that. It's only used in one thing. This horrible, horrible stuff. Um, you can be used for a lot of reasons. Huh, I underestimated the... I underestimated the usefulness of this. Alright, so we'll do something like this. Bang, bang. Uh, hmm. I feel like I should align this northern northernmost so you get the feeling I'm gonna have to put in another uh, seed extract maker eventually though again I am all but certain 
that I will not have enough war beans. All right, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it'll look all neat. And one, two, three, four, five, six. And you gotta do sugar. Sugar. And we will have what we need in. Come up like so. Up like so. And we will attach water somehow. Probably like this, right? Oh, we need more pipe. Luckily, I'm close. Water up here. Maybe? Yes, actually. Get water by coming right here. Even though it's not going to be totally aligned. There we go. Water in. And then you'll have the sugar. And you'll have the seeds. Oh, we only need that. Perfect, right? Alright. Um... Is that you? Nice. Oh, I never uh, finished this off. So you are sugar. And you are uh, Renea seeds. And you are Grot seeds. I would love to find a way to eliminate this step, but I don't have I don't have it quite yet. All right, so that's working. This will work. Uh, this will work. And then we have up here the seed syrup. Now we have to see if there's an easy way to get aluminum over here. And I don't think there's gonna be, right? Aluminum is made way down at the other end. So it also has a portal over here, right? Like right there. I could try belting that. Might not be a terrible idea, right? Because in theory, this is a source. Oh, we got a backup here. I wonder why that is. That kind of says I don't have any shells, right? Alright, so where does this come from? Oh. <laughs> wow. That's, that's old. That's real old. So, yeah, and this is a back... Oh, this is a problem. Not enough steel to make drill heads. Just not enough steel in general. Um, we're going to have to do something about the power situation. But anyway, rather than use a caravan, I should belt it all the way up here. Is this a good idea? I mean, obviously not. I could just use a short-range caravan, you know? Um, kind of don't wanna. I feel like I'm using too many caravans to begin with. So up and over and up, and then right there. That's not terrible, right? This can happen. We can do this. Let's go have an adventure. This is why we play the game, right? Four. Adventure. It's for the thrill of the unexpected. Like doing something this spectacularly stupid. Okay. Let me help you. So where are we going to go with this? I'm not sure. There's no plan here. Biofilm though. I think for my next trick, especially if we're getting so close to um, uh, mechanical parts too, I should do this so that I have the ability to make the next suit. It's going to feel good. So that's where we're going next. Acetylene is full up. Actually, that should never happen, right? Like, we should never be jammed on acetylene. Because it should always be vented. That's why we're having a sodium hydroxide crisis. Because we're not venting acetylene appropriately. Um, we're probably not mining lead ore nearly as much as we used to. Because we're using it more efficiently. So here we are. Oh. Oh. We're producing faster than we can vent. Uh, oil burner. 
So I guess we just help this. Oh, it's going to be a while. I guess we just add another one, right? Let's see if I can guess where everything's going to be. Here, I can just don't have to guess. There we go. Just burning and settling for steam just to keep everything going. Uh, again, not one of my most proud moments. But I need the, uh, uh, the, the lime to be used in order to um, make sodium hydroxide off the slaked lime. But yeah, this is completely backed up. That's all on account of uh, uh, how efficient I've made titanium and lead. So... I mean, on one hand, good for me. On the other hand, it's not without its problems, right? So this is another 20 a second of draw. And more steam. It produces 60 steam a second. So, good trade, maybe. Um, how is hot air doing? I never liked asking that question because it has a chance of... <laughs> coming back in a negative and I never ever ever want to deal with hot air all right so how about we don't do this we go this way this seems like a fun way to go right isn't it nice to work with belts again oh look copper is having primary problems we will have to fix this yes Grab all you, just come down here, right there. And if we're going to have a split personality, just do it like this. There we go. Right there, and right there. Perfect. I mean, somewhat perfect. In aspect, this was good. <laughs> In other aspect, it is bad. All right, so continue smuggling our way through. Uh, go cross country or do it properly. I guess we do it properly. To here, we shouldn't have to mine very much ever because of uh, how much we bio mine of this. So this way, this way, this way, this way. Just, yeah, sure. That's awkward. Okay, good. Of course, I can't settle on one place to put these. This might be a very, very old line, you know? This might date from when I was just uh, connecting up windmills up here. Way, way long ago. Uh, probably should have done a caravan. Probably would have been just better, but for some reason I just didn't want to. Wasn't feeling it. Okay, so we have the seed syrup. We have the aluminum. Energy drink. We'll see if this is worth our time. We need carbon dioxide. That's right there. We have water. We are right there. We need a chemical plant. Oh, it's made in a chemical plant. That's a bad sign. Oh, no. We're going to go get actually fix that. We'll go get small parts. We'll build this correctly. Yes, I want to, to make the substances I imbibe. I want it to be produced in a laboratory quality chemical plant. So this is an issue. I need more power in here. Don't we have charcoal briquettes? Briquette? Coal briquette and charcoal briquette? No, we don't have this. Energy generation 3. We can just research this. And it gives amazing, amazing things. Like, this is a pain to put together, 
but it produces 10 briquettes and each one has 180 megajoules. This is like the final answer when it comes to solid fuel. And it's not all that much. Like I can pull this together, no problem. The wax is the only difficulty and I'm venting wax. I mean, I can make wax if I wanted to. The dried biomass is a pain. Um, maybe I should do this next instead of anything else. Mm. Mm. I'll think about it. Um, oh, do we have any? Here, zoom out. No, the borders fold. Borders fold quite well. All right, good. We'll swing by uh, soon enough here and see if uh, see how artillery shell production is going because it had slowed to a stop for a while there because um, the animal line, the animal part line got clogged. Now, now we need more uh, air core inductors and we should just be able to make these things. We really do have to do something about the fuel problem after that. Not really sure. Oh, steel is backing up just a little bit. Just a little bit. That's an endless, endless hole for steel. Oh, there's quite a bit coming down. Mm -hmm. Is this something new? Ah, oh, yes it is, because uh, iron has backed up. So I'm guessing, yeah, now the fuel is backing up. So we don't have enough fuel to supply the iron that we can produce. But even at that lower level, we are producing more iron than the factory needs, and it will eventually just back up and stop. So I should pay attention to this. Probably means something. These words likely convey something significant. Uh, make me an energy drink. And this is used in a variety of things, so you have to come out in a caravansary. Right there. Alright, so you need two, three liquid components and one uh, solid component. So let me just scooch you over there. Oh, we're in logistics space. Ah, whatever, I no longer care. <laughs> this is here now. Um, so, water is simple. Bang, 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 bang. And then we'll just come over here and tap in. Great work. Now the seeds are really pouring in. Do we need, uh, we need faster hands here. These guys can't keep up. It's good to see. Probably need even faster hands than this, though maybe not. Keep going, boys. Fight the good fight. Um, and now... Pretty sure this is just... Do a line here, right? And then tap in on the other side. That's not going to be that hard. So you just come over here like that. We're just going to leave that hanging for right now. Which means we have to have aluminum coming up like so. And then carbon dioxide comes over like this. So I actually did put this relatively correctly. Alright, so. Like so. And then like so, alright? Right, so. Good, 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 good. Of course, out with the energy drink. Then you go right there. And we have to try to remember where we put this. <laughs> or maybe we will immediately become addicted and we will never, ever forget where the energy drinks are. Never. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, it makes seven at once. Ooh. 
I like it when they all come out at the same time, you know? Alright, so... Leap. Split. Ah, uh, just come straight over and deal with it later. Alright, good. And you need how much per seven, per five? So you need like three of these. Two, three. And one, two, three. All right, I think, oh no, we don't have carbon dioxide in. And once we have that, then we are ready to go. The carbonation, absolutely critical. Without the carbonation, just there's no point. All right, so that's in, that's in, that's in, that's in, that's in, that's in. So everything is ready to go. It's time to light this sucker up. And then we, we see what terrible thing we have wrought today. Oh, what regrets we will have. Ah, I hope it take, makes you take damage. <laughs> you know, you just it's, it hurts you. To, to, to imbibe the energy drink is to have pain in your life. And then give some benefit. Yeah, I play Berserkers a lot. And right there. All right, there you go. Material in. And it's going to take a long time to scoop in all of those guar beans. Probably need faster um, hands there, but we'll see. For the moment, all is well. It's like this is going to be the bottleneck. Like, this is what? We're like two beans a second, maybe three beans a second. And we have to divide it with, uh, oh, no tree seeds. And we also have to split our time with um, uh, military science going that way. All right, extract. Oh, you need more? I know you're not going to be the bottleneck, but you also should not embarrass yourself. All right. So here we go. Moving along. Oh, I love watching all this happen. It's a pleasant building. I think it might be a little, little over designed for a scrubber. It's still a pleasant building. All right, there we go. <laughs> Making my energy drink. Bam. Okay. Let's see what happens with this. Nice. Okay, so. What do you do here? Um, is it like fish? No. Like that? No. What do you do with this? What? Oh, oh I am taking damage. That's... Whoa! Wow. Wow. I am taking damage. and I, Oh my god, I'm flying. I'm literally flying. Okay. This was the correct thing to do. Okay, this was absolutely a great idea. I really like that I'm taking... I am actively dying. I'm going to die from the energy drink. And like, I have almost no control, and I don't care. Am I going to die? Am I going to die of energy drink? Do I have to press a button not to die? Okay, where can I put my corpse? I have to put my corpse closer to the center. I'm, I'm dying of energy drink. I'm going to die... <laughs> okay all right that was cool up into a point i think we can all tell exactly what that point is like is is there a button you can press to turn the energy drink off <laughs> um I, I i immediately regret what i said about wanting it to uh Give to 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 do damage to you. Um, I would like it to do damage, but I would also like it to stop at times. You know, at some point. Oh, I went too far. Um, that speed and pre uh, boost was incredible, though. Here, I'm gonna have to actually look stuff up. All right, how do you turn off the energy drink? viable stuff 
Ah, consumption speed to a second. When in cursor, left click to consume. All right. Then left click. Now we're going to head back to the... Okay, now what? I have this cloud on me. It's making me move fast. I like the moving fast part. However, I don't like how I'm dying. It's no longer in my cursor. Here. How do I stop? How do I stop? Is this just... Is this a joke? Is this a joke item that shouldn't be used? Like, kind of bravo if so. I, I accept that. But is there any way to make this actually work? Like, do I have to get like a bottle of water or eat a fish or something in order to, like, I'm just going to die. Do I have to get increased health or is, like, I was killed by myself. So, okay. I'm probably going to pause and investigate this. Ah. <sighs> At least I died in a convenient spot, right? Okay. Quick quick pause, right? Okay, we've got we've got a mission now. I saw a patch note saying that they had removed the damage per second. Um kinda just from the date of the patch note, I'm surprised it isn't in this game. This, this world I'm in right now. But at the same time, that's just a reminder of how long I've been playing. So let's try not to think about that. So we're going to try this, though. Raw fish. And this will... This, is this the healing item? Here. Here, hold on a second. All right, let's fumble with the fish. Could have sworn that the raw fish would uh would heal you. But apparently not. Hmm. Hmm, I say. Could update the mod, but that's probably gonna break everything, and then the expansion's gonna break everything anyway. Hmm. I really love that speed increase though. Okay, okay, hold on. Hold on. We have to go on a mission now. Here I thought maybe the jerky has a use. Jerky can be eaten, but I guess the fish isn't consumable. Hmm. Things I don't understand. But <laughs> pounding a energy drink and then having to snap into a Slim Jim in order to live is very very in theme didn't I have a tower of jerky over here somewhere which I've been building around forever right here right here all right so okay what's this do all right let's okay let's do a a a, a limited test see if we can find some open area we're going to try, uh, I have no grenades. Really? No grenades? Oh, I probably put them in the, uh, uh, the military box and left them. Well, good news. I can go get some grenades. I need some right now. The problem is there isn't a lot of open area in this factory. All right. Right here. Bam. Oh, that hurt. Oh, that healed me. Okay, okay. Bam, bam, bam. Oh, it hurts so much. Okay, okay. All right, all right. Uh, bam. Okay, so now... So it takes a second to kick in. And then it's just super, it's just flying. But eat some jerky, don't die. All right, so... Am I just stuck here with this 
slow death curse forever <laughs> until I run out of jerky and allow myself to die, or else will I will I live? Well, if it wears off, we have a. Uh, my God, this is so hard to control. This is a run in straight lines only thing. And the fact I can't turn it off is an issue. Like. If I could turn this off, it would be great. Woo! Because it's already lasting too long. Like, this gets me... Oh, I clip right onto the island? That's interesting. Oh, it does wear off. So... We're going to have a lot of comedy with this. Um, so I'm going to have to carry around a... So it took two jerkies... Probably only takes one jerky to to survive it. Um, but the big problem is it will essentially teleport me to where I need to go, but then I won't be able to do anything while I'm there. And from time to time I'll forget to eat the jerky and I'll die. <laughs> uh, okay. Alright, so these things both need to go on my quick bar. Like that's gone and that's gone. Alright, you are now... Energy drink and jerky. All right. It's actually you are energy drink. I said you are energy drink. Fast insert. There we go. Insert a row. Don't do that. All right. Okay. All right. Um, we did something questionably good. It's not to be used casually. <laughs> the power. Like, this is going to be really good, though. Once I have, um... It's going to take a long time to run between my bases. But this will essentially teleport me there. So, so good. Good job. Um... Back to not having enough power. Yeah, we're having, um, periodic power problems is what's going on here. Hmm... I kind of feel like I need to attend to this right now. And it's just because there's too much uh, draw on the coal line up here. So we really do have to think of a solution. And that solution almost assuredly has to be in the form of... Uh, like look at this. There's a lot of production that's not contributing right now. Like this is backing up and it's causing problems. Um, it's like this is at its full extent. It's being balanced every which way. So this is the problem right here. When it overflows, it needs to get out. Just so these guys can also work, you know? That's the entire point. I need the entire... everyone pulling together here. So what I need... I suppose uh, is this to be doing this right here and you are not doing that and you are output priority to the right but on occasion you go the other way yeah because there's this whole backup right here that needs to be over there but we can't even vent onto the belt. Well, the problem starts here, so I don't know if we're going to be finished here. Let's, let's try this. Oh, hello, tired bot. How far have you come? Be at peace. Is this salt? There we go. Alright, right there. So we will have an extra line going in. Is this going to be enough? Almost assuredly not. Probably should not mess around and actually use fast inserters, right? Go get rubber. Like. If I'm going to do this, 
do this entirely. And this is all just trying to squeeze more efficiency from this this place I have right now, which may or may not be what I'm looking for in the end. More efficiency might not be enough. <laughs> I have to be so careful about this energy drink. Oh, I'm just I want to do it right now, like right now. But um, if I do, I might it might. <laughs> I mean, it's not even a waste. I might not be able to control myself afterwards. This is a powerful metaphor of addiction right here. What did I come here for, Rummer? Like, I would not never be able to get close enough to click on that box. Here, let's do it. All right. Healing item out. Oh, wow, it gets faster. I'm definitely using the pre-patched version. So the pre-patched version is... That the post patch version is a little slower, it looks like, which is probably necessary. Um, so right here and right there. Okay, good. Then give myself another hit of jerky. Let's see if it'll it'll stop as we watch this. So let's just take a moment and jitter in place right here. Watch this flow by. Good. All go in there to be concentrated. Good. Um, all these hands. These guys aren't moving though. We're gonna make it. We need two hits of jerky or just one hit of jerky. Almost. So one hit of jerky is enough to survive, or maybe uh, one health booster if those exist as well. So these hands are coming back online, which is increased efficiency. I think probably I have to get this guy in, involved too. Um, we want output priority to the right. Come down like so. Just join the fun. And this is all in in the interest of trying to get all these arms going at once. It's like none of these things are going. This is wasted production time. Like no one's waiting now. And the goal, okay, one of the goals is to increase the amount of coarse coal being made. So we can actually probably see that, right? We should see a jump from what I just did. Maybe that was me. Maybe this is coincidence. But then what I really want is right there, what we're seeing right there, is that we've filled this faster. Now there's no dinosaurs uh, drinking it dry. And then we just have a full belt of power coming. Um, there's no way that the uh, any of the furnaces are going to run dry with that. Okay, okay, I really hope there's no way. And we have a complete backup here. We have a dinosaur trying to drop here. That's how good we're doing. Um, and these guys are still backed up. Can't vent. Don't know what I should do about that. This guy's just going to town. So maybe there really is nothing to do. Oh wait, someone come and came and grabbed a uh, whole caravan load here. Fills up very fast. Well, I should get rid of all this ash in my inventory. Are you coming for more? Yes, he is. So, completely satisfied him. And then he went away. Dunk that in there. Are all the arms moving? I am already an energy drink addict. I can't stop thinking about it. It's so good. I should have done this a long, long time ago. Um, right. This is almost done, right? You're almost filled up. And then again, full belt of power just passing by. Together with the increased power from the coarse coal. And that, that should be it. Different and better. I think we can say different and better here. Yeah, now you're going completely, and you're completely backed up. So we have 
No, we have too much molten iron. So now we're making molten steel full speed. Yeah, now we're cooking. And that's going to help. So we can probably see that here, right? Steel. Right there. No, we can't actually see it. Like, how did we actually get up that high? How is that even possible? Oh, there was probably a complete... I... Actually, I don't know. I have no idea how. Huh, I didn't realize it was a one-to-one -one between molten iron and molten steel. I assumed it was like stainless, where it was a reduction, but no, it's one-to-one. -one. I guess stainless is taking away a lot right now. Right here. Yeah. Huh. Actually, where is all this stuff going? Probably shouldn't be burning coke for fuel. But whatever. You know? You no, know, I'm going to say not whatever. I'm going to say you shouldn't be using coke for fuel. Here, vaporize those things. And you can have this coke right there. And I'll put this coarse coal in. There you go. Use that stuff. That stuff's good for you. Right there. Um, and have another set of fast hands to find more. Actually, how much coke do you need? Ten coke in four seconds? Hmm. Maybe not what we were looking for right here. 32 steel plate, a pop is a lot of steel plate. I guess we had some iron draw and that was what was happening right there. All right, anyway, the power situation is now solved, right? I mean, hopefully. So what do I do now? I think, I think it's epoxy o'clock, right? All right, so. There's a lot of need for just coal. Hmm. I'm also wondering if I was running off some... Ah, uh, we had a... Um, uh, coke got hit. So now... Now I imagine everything's running forward correctly. And coarse coal is now at peak right here. And this is going to cause everything to run better. So... I don't know. I don't know how this is going. I'm going to close my eyes and run away. So... Yeah, this is going to run out soon, but not before. Oh, precious energy drinks. Oh, so good. Alright, so... We need to make a plan. Uh, and that plan is going to be... Drink an energy drink. Ah! Yeah. Run, run, run. You will chase the sun. And we're going to catch it. We're going to catch it. We're going to eat it. Um, right there, right there, right there. There we go. <laughs> Don't need a walkway. Eat some jerky. Feel better about myself. Feeling great. Feeling fantastic about myself. Everything is wonderful. Everything has always been wonderful. I was going to come here. Oh, productivity can be used here, and soon it will be. Um, yeah, so all this is going. Glycerol is a problem, but um, I really like this. I like how <laughs> it clips straight through the wall. I wonder if I can just end up out in the water. <laughs> this, is, this is stupid. This is really dumb. It's also hilarious. All right, so yeah, one bite of jerky is enough to keep me alive. All right, fatty acid's going just fine. So it's like, I don't know, 30 seconds of mayhem or so. What's our problem here? Ah, we're out of brains. I understand. And right here, so both of these are going to have productivity on them soon. This guy's just churning along as hard as he can. Good, 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 good. Just pouring down... And the artillery shell storage is coming to life again. Not enough to 
to start a new wave, but enough. All right, so we're doing mechanical parts 02. This is our plan. Um, Nexlet antimony alloy. We don't have that, right? Don't have this at all. That's expensive. May we do this soon? We should do all of the prerequisites soon. Oh, we're going to need it for gearbox. So yeah, let's go do that. And do I have any room in smelter land? Looks like the answer is no, but we do have room at the bottom of uh, Nexlet land. So we're going to have to go get some ceramics. Oh, ceramics are, it's over with Cermet, which is, don't, don't do it. Don't, 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 don't do it. Don't, don't, not yet, not yet, not yet. We can wait a little longer. It's not that far. It's not, we don't have to go warp speed to get there. See, look, just snag one right there. Quietly snag it. Oh, uh, we probably want another one though, right? There. Trigger delivery. Or should. Yeah, there we go. And we want smelter in quantity three, I think. Will we be able to squeeze three in here? It's kind of questionable, isn't it? Now we're going to try. Uh, smelter. Um, go get some pipe, go get some iron ore. Don't hop an energy drink for this. <laughs> uh, we've, we've entered the age of addiction. Oh, I have salt in my inventory. Sad. Getting to think I might need help here. Real professional help. Alright, we may or may not be able to fit all of these in. Because the Nexlet Tower is not very wide. In fact, probably going to have to go up and down, which is fine because Nexlet is weird. Ah, uh, no, I'll chop you, grenade you. Okay, I'm going to redo this line, power line right here. Okay, there we go. All this goes away. Then I'm going vertical here. It's going to be a little bit of a eyesore, right? It's a smelter. Give me these smelters right here. Yes, what we really want is something like this. doesn't feel good. It takes 15 seconds each. Yeesh. Yeah, this really doesn't feel good what I'm doing right now. Um, because just the space is so awkward. I can go somewhere else. Outside is always a possibility. There's gasoline there, but this is mainline factory. I really just don't like how everything is looking right here. Like, next level next wood isn't going to take up that much space. I can't touch that. Hmm. I shouldn't care so much, because this is merely the factory that is. However, I find myself unable to turn off just how much I care deeply on the inside, where it counts, where we keep our energy drinks. Oh, sad. There we go. So I guess... We do another one, right? We have more iron. We do one more. And we do a block of four, which is almost assuredly too much. But, um, might be interesting at least. We make 
making lots and lots of steel, hopefully. I can't tell. Smelter. One more. Just get rid of the salt. Go find the niobium mine. Just dunk it in there. So over molybdenum. 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 You no, too far. Oh, don't, 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 don't don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Right here is Niobium. There is no need to go super duper fast. Don't you need more? Here you go. This is for you. Extra salt. Um, now we'll take this and put you one, two, one, two, three, and then unscrew it up at the last minute. One, two, screw it up at the last minute. Right there. And I think you all need to come up a bit because of what I'm going to have to do next. It's taking a large amount of space, but thankfully Nexlet doesn't really care. I'm just going to absolutely eat Nexlet. So, what we're going to do is this. You're going to come in like so. Coming over like so. Oh, it's also going to drink uh, antimony. Oh, I've kind of made a mistake, haven't I? Ah, well. I can live with that mistake. I need you to come right here. Boop, boop. There we go. That's what we want to see. Um, well, we just need this, right? All right, Timmy, let's get it. Dinosaur, where are you? Mr. Dinosaur, come over here. I want you to store food. Then I want you to go over here to Timmy Central. Right there. Oh, and it's a line. That's bad. Ah, uh, and I want you to fill cargo, and I want you to come right here, and I want you to empty cargo. We might have to go over there and see if there is a problem that needs to be addressed. We face power inward and outward. Good. Good. Good again. Good. And just straighten the power. Power is doing just fine. Wonderful. Oh. I suppose we made a mistake, eh? Which we can easily fix. We need one more space. There you go. And we'll have... Belt out. We have our next alloy. Right here. We need more belts now. One, two, three, four. That's probably fine, right? All right, so where does this belt end? Right there. So you'll go like one, two, three, four. Probably just three. Probably don't even need three. Um, and then you have one out. One out. You'll have two in. And one out. There you go. So turn you on right here. Turn you on right there. there. You have everything you need to succeed. Now we just have to go see what's going on with antimony. And I guess yes, it's required. Um okay, required is a very, very strong word. Okay, 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 my heart, my heart, my heart. So we're moving along as hard as we can, huh? This is my new buddy. Oh, there's even more. Oh, I gotta not die, first off. Hit the not die button. Alright. 
I declare you're good. You just go and do that. And this guy is also trying to fill cargo. Mm. But you get back and we'll end of the line. 30 seconds is a long time. Um, Luxi. How are we doing here? Very spiky. Oh, it was not going at all for a while. I wonder what was happening there. Yeah, one hit of jerky is enough. Um, what is going on here? I guess if there is such a line. Oh, and there's uh also emptying barrels. What? Yeah, Dow Froth is being used, right? Oh, and you're... Okay, I see. You've emptied the barrels and you're getting the barrels. All right, I got it. I got it. I got it. I was worried that it was taking away the antimony, but it's not. All right, so I guess... All right, let's do a little math. This makes 20 Timmy Pulp a second. And this eats... Oh, no. It's not straight math. It's like 7. 100 by 15 is 6, actually. So, one of these guys, so 20 divided by 6, 20, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 3. One of these guys can supply three of these guys. And we got two of them. So, to balance this properly, we need to go put in two more of these. And then that should be enough. Just two more. Mm. Two more flots. One. Oh, I have to go get inner metallics. Oh, oh. Gives you that little time, a few seconds to line yourself up. Such a good thing I've actually uh, done my base in a, a grid pattern. Actual useful grid pattern. Uh, flat. <laughs> this is what engineering is like when you're just out of your mind on, yes, quote unquote, energy drink. Right. It's an energy drink. I suppose I could also put in another one of those and then leave room over here. You know, something like this. <laughs> so hard to control. Alright, so, now. It's probably still a little... That's two. Two outs. So, we have to look real close. There's good out, and then there's bad out. So we'll do good out right here. I definitely should look into expanding this even further. Which maybe I will do directly after this. Go. Yeah. Oh, this is phosphor. Oh, wait. We're kind of in the wrong place. All right. We can move. This. This guy comes out like so. Bang. Bang. Right there. Right there. And... It has to come right here. And just links in, right? Good. Good, good, good. So now you just need materials in. It's just Dow froth, then pressurized air, and this. So we'll just do this then, since this looks convenient. I have to start saving space. So I'll do this. looks dumb, but it works. Which is, you know, exactly how I can say about most of my factory. There, and then just straight in on Dalfroth. Alright, these guys are now ready. 
and I can add more if I need to. All right, so now we should be completely balanced between these two and these three. Um, straight out, straight out. No one should be dropping. I guess the question is, can I import enough Dalfroth? We don't have a tank here. Oh, we do. Oh, it's completely full. Alright, so, good. The answer is probably yes. Probably are. Here, let's see. We make one Timmy Dust every 10 seconds. And here we eat two Timmy Dust every 10 seconds. So, we're actually going to outrun this. We need another classifier. Like that. Let's press that button, right? Ooh. Oh, we're almost out. We are, in fact, out of belt. Oh, and we have no small parts. I live in the most tragic of all worlds. And so, there's really no point trying to build this out any farther, because there's just not enough room. So, uh, if these guys can't keep up, then we're kind of screwed. So, let's hope they can. Aggressive. Aggressive wobbling. It's funny. Um, so maybe we increase the output by about 50% here. Hard to say. Oh my gosh, you are going here, right? You're my buddy. I just want to chase you down after this. So, yeah. That's not too many problems right now. Oxide. Uh, so I did something. Maybe even something good. It's hard to say. Um, bam. Let's go. Kills you if you just leave it alone. Oh, we're stopped. We're completely unable to process, right? Yeah. Because of, uh... Uh, nothing is leaving the system. Um, it's so tempting to turn that on, but I don't. I really do not have the power. And we're still processing everything from the last time I turned it on. We have so much chemical science, there's no reason to. What's going on? Oh, they came from behind? Ooh. Ooh, that's a problem. They occasionally come straight in. I wonder if, uh... Well, no, we don't have any... Uh, oh, <laughs> zip, 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 zip. There. Partial delivery was made. And now, uh... Yeah, there we go. There is something we need for mechanical parts, too. And we're running three smelters, four smelters... We need to increase the output here. We need more mechanical parts. I think we do need... No, no we don't. It was just slow getting to this point, I guess. There we go. Yet another alloy. It's not a special alloy. It is just an alloy. Alright, so... Chalk up another accomplishment. Um, let's go and get a whole pile of mechanical parts. Are we finally getting this? No, we're not. It's so slow, and it's all because not enough steel plate. How is steel doing? Terribly. <laughs> Steel isn't, steel's hurting. Alright, we're just going to ignore that for now and see if it equilibrates now that I've adjusted the power uh, output a little bit. I want to do uh, mechanical parts. O2, right there. Alright, Kevlar, have. Uh, this alloy, have. Mechanical parts, have. Don't have this or that or that or that or that or that. Rayon, I have it. 
advanced small parts I have at steel, I need a lot more in heavy oil I have. So we're really just missing the intermediate parts. And of those, electronics is going to be the hard one. So let's just look. Utility box is all stuff I have. 10 stainless steel into one of these. Oh my god. I so need the next uh, iron recipe up and going. I think that's what this is all about. Get the next iron recipe. But aside from that, this is just get stuff I have, perform task. I mean, it takes 30 seconds. Ugh. All right, so anyway, that's, that's nothing. Shaft Mach 2, easy enough. Take a shaft, dunk it in molten stainless steel, get two shafts out. That's nice. Why would anyone ever not use the hot air recipe? It takes a long time, though. Um, so that's not a problem. Gearbox. Made that, have that, have that, have that, have it. And lubricant. So, yes, I have everything here. So it's just a bunch of making intermediates. Uh, skipping electronics for right now. Control panel. Need an excellent battery. Here, let's start making a list. Uh, Nexilit battery. Uh, EVA. And everything else is fine. Okay. So that was control panel, right? Yeah. And brakes. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. All right, brakes is no problem. Which leaves the actual problem right here, which is epoxy. Epoxy and 40 MOSFETs. Oh, my God. 40 of them. These things are ridiculously expensive. Here, let's ask ourselves some questions, though. Let's start at the very top of the stack. Right here. This can take productivity. This cannot. No productivity, just speed. Not even efficiency. What has, what can prompt no efficiency? This takes efficiency. This takes, so no productivity. I hate the hide the productivity game. All right, so all these guys, productivity would be good. And then right here, productivity here as well. Okay, good. Yeah, all these will be the same. So, okay. A positive sign here. So, product no efficiency, but yes, productivity. Wonder why. Doesn't make sense to me. Um, so, all the individual parts, I imagine, will take productivity. Let's just take a look. Yeah. Okay. So, prod modules... You, you, you struggle really hard, and then you add productivity, and then you struggle a little less. And right here, and then productivity here too. So there's many levels where productivity can help. Um, but for right now, we're full up, huh? You have all these? All right. Mechanical parts. We have... We need one more thing. Electronics. Epoxy. Yeah, that's it. All right, so epoxy is what? Uh, it is... One, two, three. Bisphenol A. Uh, Autocorrect is just wrecking me right here. Uh, and Epe Chlorohydrin. Uh, both of which need to be investigated as well. This is fine. Phenol and acetone to make bisphenol. Isn't there a way to make both of these? Like, uh... Phenol and acetone from Kumin. Light oil processing stage 3. Huh. Light oil 
processing. Stage three. Well, I can just research this right now. And this takes cumin and it makes phenol and acetone. And uh, this phenol is just phenol and acetone in a in a different ratio though. Gonna need it may will make two hundred acetone for two um for ten phenol. Hmm, so maybe that's not a good idea. Maybe it's better to make acetone like this. I mean I already have a generator somewhere, so just pipe it in. I'm gonna have to find a way to make more phenol. Like it's just this recipe, but bigger. You have to get more lignin. Oh, it's it's expensive stuff. So maybe don't do that. Maybe hold off for this. Because this is really good. This is a great recipe right here. So I guess this is what we do. Then we have to find a way to get rid of acetone. Oh, this is fantastic. Um, yeah, this is why we're using acetone right now. Mm, I know acetone does not have... I don't want to void you. No voiding. No. So maybe this just is a great idea, but I can't do it because uh, there's no way to void it. Like organic solvent doesn't have a uh, fuel value. I can turn it into methanol, maybe. This is a fine recipe. Mm, okay, so let's take a look at fuel values. Uh, organic? No. Um, acetone? No. Uh, what was the other one? Yeah, I gotta look. Acetone. Uh, I can go into bisphenol. That's not, no, that's methyl isobutyl carbonyl. So, MIBC, methyl, was it solid? IBC, no, that's definitely a liquid. It goes into powder. Oh, I know what I'm making this. Yeah. Methyl isobutyl carbonyl. So. MIBC. It's not even on the. Isobutyl carbonyl. Methyl. Yeah, it's not even on the list. Mm, weird. Um, so that's no path. So there really is no path for getting rid of acetone cleanly. Except voiding it, and I don't want to do that. Um, so despite this recipe being absolutely fantastic, it might not be what I need because it. Uh, no, okay, not this recipe, but the this recipe. Because I have to get rid of so much acetone. Um, no, probably not. Plastic turn into plastic. I always need plastic, but I need so much sulfuric. Wow, that's not a good one. And soak gel isn't going to be the solution either. And this just turns into aerogel. And aerogel is broadly useful, but it's not like I'm going to set it on fire or something just to get rid of it, to absorb acetone of all things. So I guess I have to do it straight. I have to do another phenol. So expensive too. Ah, problems and problems, right? Don't know what is best to do here. I can make turn the tailings. Paramagnetic material, grease and acetone in the tailings. Really? Really? Paramagnetic. Oh. I mean, we can get it soon. And this is a decent way to get rid of acetone. I 
I do not understand why this recipe exists. That doesn't make sense to me. All right, so let's look at epichlorohydrin. You're simpler, right? Aleochemicals, small amount, glycerol, small amount, a lot of hydrogen chloride, a little bit of epichlorohydrin. So I'm not a big fan of the glycerol cost, but at least this is very straightforward. Um, bisphenol is not straightforward. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Uh, maybe just use the, the phenol factory I have today, which is up here, right? I would, I would teleport there, but I've left too many uh, <laughs> uh, uh, pipes on the, the main belt. So over here, phenol, right? It's backed up for now. There's going to be an enormous draw on this line because we need the bakelite. The bakelite is a lot of phenol. This is probably grossly insufficient. So, yes, just in general, going forward, we need a better way. Like, this is wonderful. I would do this. Okay, this isn't great, great. Filtration, it's a ways away. All right. So, phenol. The way to make phenol is right, is right here. It's easy, it's cheap. Like, this is just arthropod blood, right? No, it's strip distillates. And it's just, just, okay, it's real cheap, it's real easy. The only problem is it comes with a co product, which is nominally useful, but I need to find a way to get rid of it. Um. I mean, turn it into organic solvent and ammonia. That's a good way to get rid of it. The organic solvent can become petroleum gas and methanol, can become fatty acids. That's not good enough. Can become outlet gas. I mean, maybe I need to do this. It makes a lot of sulfur, too. That's nice. Hmm. I guess I gotta, right? All right, we're gonna leave bisphenol alone for the time being, which means I'm gonna leave epoxy alone for the time being, uh, because I need to get that light oil tech here. I guess we should switch to it right now, right? Here, switch over. We need this recipe, because we're gonna need a lot of phenol, and we're gonna have to find a way to get rid of this acetone. And this is what pretty good too. Because look at it, it's a hundred strip distillates for two hundred and fifty fuel oil. And it's two thirds the power value of gasoline, but you get it in nearly triple the amount. So that's it's better than gasoline. It's more efficient. I should think about doing that. And like this is also really good. Like this is probably even better. It's the strip distillates. It doesn't need any titanium purple. Uh, it just needs a couple drops of gasoline, just a couple drops. And then it produces residual oil, which is Coke. And it produces 300 light oil, which is a lot of power. It's more power than the equivalent gasoline. So maybe I should switch over to that. Um, I don't know. Mainly I'm just looking at this recipe right now. Anyway, let's look at something else. I'm going to make a note here. Awaiting tech. Then let's take a look at the organic solvent draw right now. Um, where are you? Where, oh, where are you? Organic solvent factory. Right there. You are a arthropod blood draw. You are the only arthropod blood draw. And... If I remove you, you are purely a waste product. The arthropod blood is then purely a waste product. Um, gone too far by a lot, by a whole lot. Surely I know my own factory. 
Um, over here, and then up. So I guess... Yeah, right here. And it's just flowing out right now. Right? No, it's, it's underflowing out. Oh, and we have a huge amount of demand for it because we're low on arthropod blood for some reason. That's disquieting. So maybe I just dump the acetone into organic solvent and just hope for the best, right? Um, we stop doing this, we start doing this entirely. And again, you know, hope for the best. Um, sure, sure, that sounds like a great plan. But we need this tech for that, and it's coming. So we have no arthropod blood. We're definitely making Zillifo. Like, we should be due for a delivery soon, right? We have more processing space than we have... Yeah, we're even uh, processing some Zapiers. It's so nice to see a backup of Mukmu here. Forming the backbone of my great meaty empire. <laughs> Let's go take a look at the Zillifo area, see how I screwed it up this time. Like, I managed to comprehensively wreck the Zillifo area. Just repeatedly. Ah, no larva. Okay, got it. Why are we, why are we short of larva, Mr. Zillifo? We have no pressurized water. God, just comprehensively wreck this. Oh, look at that. Okay. Yeah, you see, how did I screw it up this time? So we've been essentially on half Zillifos the entire time, right? That's what this means. I'm not going to look at it anymore. I'm just going to pretend I didn't see any of that. Just toss an energy drink in there and run away. Um, so now, next thing, EVA. Ethylene vinyl acetate. Vinyl acetate and ethylene. Do I have you? I have the ability to make you. Chromium and fatty acid. Ooh. Processed fatty acids. And then... Okay, that's one to one. I need acetic acid. And I can get that with uh, just guts now, right? It's probably better to do anything else. Maybe I should take this from the uh, uh, the major, in, like a, as a true output of guts, uh, and turn it into acetic acid here, and then from acetic acid into processed fatty acids, and then processed fatty acids into uh, vinyl acetate, and vinyl acetate into EVA, and then EVA is used in Tons of stuff. All right, so we have to put down uh, vinyl acetate here for EVA. Okay, and the other thing we need is Nexilit battery. Great. What do we do with you? We need a spent Nexilit battery and the Nexilit. Great. Oh, and this goes in the gastro capacitor. Oh, I should try aerial caravans. This is the last thing I need to do that. Though I also need a... Um, uh, I need these mechanical parts in order to make the aerial caravan area. We're going to have to experiment with this. We actually made sugar. So, hey, good for me, right? But for the moment, we're not going to pay attention to that. Spent Nexlet battery. So it's just Nexlet, and I'm not even going to put down this. So Nexlet plate, zinc acetate, nylon, anthroquinone. anthroquinone? For real? Um, that could be made on site, right? Chromite sand. I don't want to, though. Here, let's go take a look. Bam. Cl clinging to my Slim Jim for my life. Oh, please, please don't, don't destroy me, monster energy drink. Just, I'm literally flying. Okay, so anthroquinone made right here. Um, 
So the question is, can I make Nexlet battery here? Let's take a look about that, huh? Nexilit battery. So zinc acetate right here. So this is two votes for making it around here. Um, I can pipe in. We have lead plate already on a, on a, a belt, and the olefins are a question, right? No. Huh. We can get rid of fluorine that way. No. Yeah, you need to feel the blood beating in your ears. So next lit and just gas, which I have around here, can become olefins. And that's probably what I'm going to do, right? Especially since, you know, everything is next lit, next lit, next lit, next lit. Yeah. All right. So we'll, we'll make the olefins from next lit and available gases in this area. Um... So this is here, this is here, this is here, import, import, this is here. All right, this is a pretty good idea, right? Uh, the only question is find a place for it. I think this doesn't have to exist anymore, right? Yeah, this is, I take tar and I, uh, no, I take uh, creosote and I turn it into like something else. I don't know. We don't do that anymore, though. This this isn't how life. Oh, aromatics apparently. This this isn't how we do things. Isn't who we are as a people. Oh, uh oh. All right, so this is probably not how it has to be. I have to probably take this one and move it over here. Or take this one and move it right here, probably more likely. Yeah, it's a migration. The only question is, where do they settle? They ate their way through the wall. Ugh. Have to keep cleaning. If you don't keep cleaning, it just gets dirty again. And we can't have dirt. Alright, so this doesn't have to exist anymore. Great. Where are you going, creosote? I don't know. This will just get picked up. This doesn't give us enough space by any means. But it felt good to do that, right? So we have this, like, hacked off random space here. Filled with a whole bunch of tanks that I should be able to consolidate somewhere, I guess. Yeah. Very settling. Oh, just out of reach. These, these guys. Okay. Okay. All right. Bam. Look what they made me do. Look what they made me do. I said I wasn't going to do that anymore. I said I was a new man. I said it was just causing me problems in my life, and I didn't need it. But then look what they made me do. I all the way I wonder I wonder oh I died so <laughs> okay maybe I should have done this a very very long time ago you know maybe this would have helped a lot at various stages in the factory's life Completely unable to see where I am, just warping through walls. Factorio is not built for speeds like this. Alright. So, it is nice. We now have a rapid response force. We do have a little bit more work to do down here. More importantly, energy drink. I'm gonna have to, I should have let myself heal up. Ah, well. Whatever, you know. Oh, it looks like I'm not going as fast for some reason. Probably because I pounded two in such a short period of time. So hard to control. Alright, so too high. Too high. Oh, 
game starts to stutter, everything being shaking. Um, we are looking at this area very pensively, wondering if perhaps we could do something with this space. This is right next to a whole bunch of stuff we need. We could definitely reorganize this, I think. Um, we could build on the molybdium. That's never going to be used. Um, and this is obviously going as hard as it can. This can't be touched, and this can't be touched. Alright. Heart rate returning to normal. Vision clearing. Sense of shame highly evolved. Um, hmm. So I guess we just tidy over here and try to make this area our next look battery area, which is what I would at least call highly counterintuitive. And it happens again. Boom, boom. Oh, boom, 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 boom. Right here. This is what we wanted. Bang, bang. You. Should also uh, increase handcrafting speed, right? We're going to move all of these one by one. Yeah, I'm beginning to see the, the damage being more annoying than anything else. So, maybe it was correct to be removed. It's a funny joke, but in the end, not very practical. I just picked something up and I have no idea what it was. <laughs> so hard to control. Alright, so. Right here. Okay. At least now I've got the, a sense for how long it takes. And steel is just vanishing into this. So at least I know when it ends. It should be shorter. I mean, that's a real dangerous thing to say about a buff. But I do feel it outlays it. Okay, at current base sizes. It outstays its welcome. I may feel very different about that later. Okay, so what we want is to take this right here. Okay. Probably just going to clear area today. I'm not going to actually get to the part of building it. Maybe we will. I don't know. So, irk. Condensates come over here. Want to completely drain this out. No, you've been clipped. We would do that. And we need to run all of this because it supplies um, uh, refined natural gas and purified refined natural gas for bees. You can do this faster. Come on, show some hustle, guys. There you go. There, both of you going. Oh, it's probably at the, uh... We are almost assuredly moving at the speed of the pipe right now. Hmm. Okay, try this. There we go. So good, kinda. This is filling up. Are you going at all? What's your problem? Oh, you can't vent condensates because maybe I did a thing. Alright, that's fine. Pick this up. Get rid of all this. Then... What would be best is coming around like so, right? Finding a way to get the condensates in over here. Um, 
put, you can make that happen right there. Then you are right there and you come, first you come over like this. Don't forget to do this. Just because And like this somehow. I don't know what these pipes are doing. This was supposed to overflow down here. Oh, this is to vent out. Okay, good. That's fine. That's perfect. All right, so now we're moving condensates right here. For which we have to do this. Reclaim some space in the primary base. There we go. Now we have to connect it up, because I, I can move this building right here. I probably should move this building right here, but I'm not going to do that right this second. So condensates go two ways. First off, we overflow into a burner, right? I know that happens. So we should handle that over here. Where is the condensate? burner. It used to come right here and then down here, right here. This is the dedicated condensate burner. Understood. And down here. And it's exactly where I don't need it to be. Oh, now we can make this work. Totally make this work. And over here. I think I can make this work. I think I can. I think I can. Uh, totally can. Nice. Right there, right there. Condensate burner online. So now we pick this pipe up. All this gets cleaned up. Things are a fraction tidier. Ooh, it's not getting up to wherever this is going. Ah, condensates come out here. That is easily fixed. Why isn't this system going? I'm almost assuredly messing this up somehow. At how many times I messed up Zillifo, and that's one of the easier systems. It has like two building types associated with it, and just trying to keep them fed. All right, so now we need you are now flowing in good, you are now flowing in good, you are now overflowing out good. So the question now is. Um, can't get rid of tailings, huh? Tailings is this pipe right here, full of tailings. You head over to tailings land. I well understand. Are we blocked again for some reason? I mean, I believe. I totally 100% believe. Yeah, we are completely blocked up. Oh, it goes into the um, uh, the only use for tailings dust tailings, when in fact it should be general purpose tailings. So this, once again, is going to be one of the ugliest things you ever did see. But we're going to make it work. So right here, no, we can't do it like that. Ooh. So this line right here, that has to come across into main tailings and not into overflow tailings. Not you, you're Napa. So you come right here, I think. You go this way. Glad I looked at this. This was probably blocked for a long time. Um, 
have to do something like this, right? Which means we have to get raw Nexlet in our inventory, which is sad. But there have been many worse things that happened, like literally on this playthrough today, and you're just burning stuff. So, good? Question mark? Good? Alright, so this is finally flowing out. So we probably fixed a long-standing problem there that we just haven't quite understood. It, like, the, the full uh, impact of this problem has not yet arrived. And maybe we have headed it off at the pass. So you need condensates in and you're not getting it. And that was our current problem. Um, and I would love to move this, but it's not happening. It's right there. Bam. There. Now you get your condensates, you make all this stuff, most of it just gets set on fire. And this is making naphtha? Is this why we're doing this? And refined sin gas. Refined natural gas, actually. And this doesn't get used for anything. Hmm. Find natural gas. Oh! We don't use this for anything anymore. This used to be our naphtha maker, right? And that's what this used to all be about. And now it doesn't need to be new, used for anything. Because we don't we use just natural gas for the bees. Oh! Okay. That's so much better. This entire thing can be picked up. Yeah, I'm super confident about using this area for... Uh, um, uh, the Nexlet battery now. Yeah, this is an old tangle. Because we... Like, this naphtha going north, it goes nowhere, right? Just, here, yeah, let's clean this entire thing up. It's going to be dramatic cleaning up action here. And we finally have our, uh, all the ground prepped. I will probably call it. And that will be the end of the episode. And then next episode, we'll start with Nexlet battery. And then we'll eventually get light oil processing. And then we'll do um, EVA, and then epoxy, and then we just have to assemble it all together. And we will have uh, all of the mechanical components, Mach 2, which is very important. It will give us a new suit. It will give us uh, uh, modules give us better buildings, it solves the power problem through better buildings. It's just a magical tech. It's the last tech I want to get on my way to the factory that's yet to come. I don't like seeing it so backed up like this. Don't like it. Uh, but there's nothing I can do about it, right? So this naphtha is just, yeah, there's nothing here. Wait, there's plenty of naphtha there, but I don't know where you're going, so come with me. Alright, so this needs to keep going, but these guys are on a mission, I guess. Alright, so that's linked into main naphtha right there. And this was the gasoline line I brought up for this. Alright, you guys can go away. Dismissed good power lines. But the gasoline line comes through here. Just roll it back. Great job. It's looking so clean. Wish I could move this. Probably could since there's only one dinosaur uh, using it. Probably will since the dinosaur is also present. Where'd that go? Right here? Yeah. So I don't know what this is. But we have a burner that is currently without purpose. That was probably BTX, right? Alright, so this actually is going to be pretty hard to move. I can't forget about that. I don't know where it's going, but it seems like it's probably important, right? 
uh, natural gas. I have no idea where it's going. I, I actually have no idea where this could possibly be going. Let's follow it and find out. Natural gas, natural gas. Are you just a wasted line? Were you a bad idea I had a long, long time ago? Oh, or is this the natural gas line headed all the way south? Yeah, it is. That's the pipeline to the bees. Okay. I wonder why I'm barreling it then. I guess I tried uh, barreling it over. Hmm. Don't know. But I do know this is getting tidier. That has to stay. That has to stay. I'm going to move this tank. Probably going to try to move it directly here. So let's see if I can keep all this straight, right? It overflows south. Actually, can I fit this in right here? Yes, barely. So the tank goes right here. That's fine. And I want to pump you dry. Ah, uh, pump. Right there. This tank will no longer be in the way. It'll be lined up with its machine at least. We can claim that space. All right, so now uh, we want to overflow it out and then it has to head off to uh, the burner so it comes right here it does one of these there we go not pretty does work maybe I should have moved it somewhere else my center of gravity has shifted northward here yeah we'll make it work all right so this has to be now hooked up. That's easy enough. Right there, right there. Then you get clipped. Then you also have to feed that barreling machine for unknown reasons. Oh, that's a real pain. I lined up the outlets with the uh, chlorine machine. Also a real pain is this, but we will make do, right? Do? No, we won't. Hmm. Actually, the suffering is real. Okay, like that. Now you can come over. Um, still the suffering is real. just do that why why do you have oh because again I didn't do it right um, or again I did it right but it was thwarted by actions I myself had taken curse that engineer curse him in his sloppy ways so why do we have condensates now wait didn't I just get done doing something different Did I mess up? Messing it up? There we go. Well, get rid of that. Okay, there. That's finally cleaned up now. Um, well, what needs to happen right this second? This has to do that. And that is ugly as sin. This is an abomination. A literal abomination. But we have drank this dry. Okay. So it's now a little bit cleaner in aspect, in an area, at a time, in a sense. Um, you are just making niobium pipe. This is your only purpose. So, Mr. Dinosaur, you are being repurposed. 
to this. Buy the car. Go like so. Then like so. Right there. Then we don't need high tech hands. Okay. Uh, new plan. New plan, my friend. Uh, stop, first off. First step is to just stop what you're doing. Just stop. Stop and think. Here, have a full backpack now. Pick all this up. This all comes over here. Should have done this a long time ago, right? Dunk all that in there. Okay, good. Now, Mr. Dinosaur, we need to have a conversation. We need you to come right over there instead. Then you empty your cargo. Go. All right. So that moved that. I can get all this out of here now. Really? That was the only power line in for this area? Someone made a series of veins and not a web. Do not like how little is coming off right there. Um, why do we have so little sodium hydroxide being made? Just not enough slaked lime? That says not enough shells, right? Well, that's kind of expected since Zillifo production was so anemic. Z-Y-H-L. Z-Y-H? Z-Y-H-I. So we are making more, but it's going to take a long time for it to trickle through the system. So perhaps I shouldn't panic quite yet. Even though, you know, panicking is fun. Are you a shell sore? No. Why are we stopped? Because we're not drawing that much acetylene anymore. That's why. The acetylene that we're drawing is only coming from uh, those gas boilers because we're so efficient with it now. What a strange place to be in. So I'm not getting enough slaked lime, so I'm not producing enough uh, uh, sodium hydroxide, so a whole lot of the factory is slowing to a stop. That's, you know, really intriguing. So in the last hour we've made... See, we just, it looks like we just, see the step down is when Zillifo pressure passes a uh, a butchery, you know, a laughter factory. So we wanted to have further up. So we're constantly making shells. That's probably a good thing to look at too. Not artillery shells. That's also nice. Oh, looks like we're having problems here too. Like up here, I want up here eight uh, a minute. That's what we want. Instead, down here, just a trickle. But now shell production is way up. That means we've just gotten a delivery of Zillifo. Alright, just... Maybe this is fine. Maybe everything is fine. I just have to leave it alone, right? Maybe if I just plug my ears and go la 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 la, nothing will happen. I'm actually going to do this. This thing I should have done a very long time ago. Clean up all this nickel ore. I just didn't want to put it in my inventory. But now it's a line in an area I want to reclaim, so... I suppose the, the title of this episode has to be Energy Drink, even though it really is mostly just cleaning day. Ugh. Here, let's see what we can do, right? And then I want hands, and I want chests, and I want all this nickel ore. That's all we need, right? I'm just going to clean the entire thing up and then deliver it over to the nickel ore place. And hopefully it will eventually get used. Like, I'm not going to clean up this line all the way. It's just going to stop here, even though 
we're now in the valuable part of the line. We're reclaiming an entire, uh, an actual major line on um, one of my main buses. Like, this has been here forever. Oh, I guess we don't. We just reclaim it back to this point. And then there it is. That is the actual main nickel ore line. <sighs> Fabulous, right? Who wants nickel ore? Uh, over here? Right here. So, bang, bang. Oh, we have an entire depository for it, even though I still have too much. We are really and truly clogged on nickel ore. Alright, I don't even want to look at it. I'm just going to assume that's going to work itself out eventually, right? stuff. We are doing well, right? This entire area. Didn't I just do this line? Now I want to get rid of it. Hmm. Such is life. This doesn't have to exist. Let's move way down. We have to put another acetylene draw somewhere. And we're actually getting in pretty good shape here. Um, we will move this tin this way. Just this rail. Fortunately, there is no draw on this tin line. And I think there might be no draw on this tin line, like, permanently. Because I think this might have been uh, on its way to make... Um, uh, green circuits and green circuits used to be made over there and now it is not anymore so it has no purpose okay right there that's the line gets rerouted to be tidier feels good to clean now mr oxygen line right here you definitely can find a better way to run get out of this area entirely. So, over here, please. Oh, we, we're very, very short of drilling heads now. This is going to cause problems. Um, I suppose needing tons and tons of steel for uh, magazines is also causing problems. Oh, fortunately, this is not a good line. This is a fun, better line. There. Right there. If only Energy Drink could help me with this, but somehow I don't think the Screaming Jitters would be a useful addition to this part of the project. But who knows? Maybe it would be fun. Oh, this is a, another issue. It was a three-way. All right. No problem. Oh, actually, kind of a problem. Put this over here. Oh, wait. Can't do that. Maybe the answer really is just caravan everything all the time. <laughs> Then no more doing this ever. I don't know. It does feel a bit like a cop out, eh? So this doesn't exist. This is now all clean. I don't think this ever runs anymore. I don't think this needs to exist. So, okay. But here we go. We could definitely do Nextlet battery here. Um, boop, 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 so you, yeah, I see what your job is. All right, got it. Um, how about instead of doing what you're doing, instead come down like this. Come up like this. 
then over, and then like this. Should think that would be a little better. There's some ash on that line for some reason. Alright, got a whole bunch of stuff in my inventory. Take that. No, I'll I'll take I'll keep the steel, don't worry. You can have that though. Um yeah. So we have this space, and we can even move the guar beans if we need to. I don't think so. But it's right next to the uh, anthraquinone and the zinc acetate. We can just pull this line up in there somehow, pull over the anthraquinone. Then we get Nexilit battery right there. And so we have to uh, caravan in this. It's present here, caravan in, is present here, uh, is present here, and I believe we're going to be doing this recipe. I need to caravan that in, but this, these are present here. So, yeah, this is a good place to do it. And then we charge it with just an excellent. Oh, in a particle accelerator? No! At least it's very fast. Look at that, just boom, done. Um, but a particle accelerator, no. Um, well, it's on the way to the thing that gets me the, the power that I need to, to do better here. Maybe I move these as well. I don't know. So we'll probably make here spent Nexlet battery right here. And this is make one every 10 seconds. So maybe we put two right here. Maybe we do the, the Olefin factory right here, and then um, Caravan land right here, and then two, um, two uh, automated factories making the spent batteries, and then right here is the particle accelerator. We'll move the saline water stuff if necessary. Then we will have an excellent battery, and that gets used in many, many things. I actually think it has like interesting power effects too. Like if I was just to uh, use it instead of get, I wonder if I could use it against instead of gasoline. Here, I need a dinosaur. There's a way to see items. There's probably a better way, but this is the way I know. Uh, battery, right? So this is. Uh, Nexlet impute. It's a fuel. It's a fuel. So it doesn't look like it can go in the equipment grid. But the spent one can. It can be charged in the equipment grid, I guess. Huh. But like 100 megajoules, 500 megajoules is a lot of megajoules. If I can just keep a couple of them. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, not in here anyway. Hmm. Alright, well, we'll figure this out. Hopefully it's not running 24-7. Like, spent batteries. It's one spent battery. So no, we're only going to have like... Like, a second and a half of uptime on that particle accelerator. Uh, every 10 seconds. So that's fine. That's fine. And then Nexi lit battery goes into five of them for one. Oh my god. That is astonishing right there. So I'll be able to make one of these a minute, essentially. Just one. And then you need one for every module, and you need one for six mechanical parts. All right, so that's terrible. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen there. All right, let's, let's just kind of wrap up then. What did we do today, my friends? Hmm. Ah, oh, what am I even doing? All right, so today... We did not do any combat. We only did 
uh, building stuff. We played Factorio today. And towards the end, as you remember, we did a lot of cleaning right here. We prepared the area for Nexolit batteries on our way to mechanical parts level 2. The other thing we did today, what did we do first? We need the, the alloy that we're going to need for mechanical parts part 2. It is not the, the primary problem by any means, but it needs to be done. We found space for it and we slotted it in. And the other thing is we finished energy drink. Energy drink proved to be a <laughs> a dangerous substance. It killed me a couple times before I realized it had to be offset with a healing item. You literally needed to snap into a Slim Jim in order to survive its effects. Well, good. It's also super fast and apparently nerfed in a patch I don't have. I'll probably be patching soon every anyway because new version of Factorio is coming. Uh, and I'll have to be transitioning to that sometime. It's going to be a big problem when it happens. But anyway, that's in the future. Or maybe it's in the past, depending on when this video comes out. Not sure. Um, so next episode, we're going to be putting in... Nexlet battery creation right here, right next to the anthraquinone and the zinc acetate. And then after that, we'll find a space almost certainly in here somewhere where we're going to build um, uh, ethyl vinyl chloride, I think. That's what's next. It's just a tower of stuff. I don't know where I'm going to put this. By rights, it should probably be outside the factory, but I don't know. Maybe like right here? No, that's that's taken space. I don't know. I'm going to have to consider this. Maybe right in here? Yeah, this is unused space. Completely unused. I just have to reclaim a little bit of uh, old wall. Maybe move this around and I'll have this. Because the power problem is not going to be solved by expansion. If I expand, I'm going to be expanding outside the base. So this is space that can be used for anything. And this is space that can be used for anything, I suppose. Like in here as well, even though this is awkward space. I don't know. It's going to be very difficult finding just land inside the walls in order to build this. I suppose over here is also just wide open now. Hmm. Or I could just make it on the lake over here. So I have options, just not fantastic options. Oh, up here is also completely open. No, though anything installed next to the, the radioactive <laughs> buildings right here is going to be questionable. It might be difficult attracting workers knowing what's right next door. <laughs> the dinosaurs might protest. Anyway, um, fairly decent episode. Not really making huge strides, but... That's what cleaning up does. Um, so I'm done now, right? Bye bye now. Bye bye. Bye bye bye. Bye 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 bye.